So for this uh, purpose, uh, sake of this video purpose, whatever you want to say that, let's go back to uh, uh, channel one. Okay, hit set. Now, let's turn this guy. The receiver is on. Okay, when I press this, it's not responding. You see the light is not green. It's just flashing. So what you do is you hold the set button. This one, the set button comes in, uh, into play. So you hold it for a few seconds. And then watch. The light will turn solid, uh, solid red. And all you need to do is hit this play pause. And that's it. That's flashing. Now watch. If I press this middle way, they both turn green. When they push it all the way, they turn red. So I tell you that the remote and the receiver are synced are in that channel. Now, if you change the channel to two, you will have the same issue. So you have to do the same thing. Hit the set button and sync them together. And that's all. Uh, you use this. Uh, let's say if you are in time mode and you're about taking exposure, as soon as you press this, it'll switch to your uh, to the remote mode. Watch. See how it switched back to your remote mode and it's giving you information about what channel and all that stuff. Okay. If you are in timer mode, which is the the last screen, and you want to take an exposure as well, it'll switch automatically to your remote mode. Okay. So the last uh, mode I'm talking about, which is your timer mode. Uh, this guy right here. And the timer mode has all the a lot of different settings that you need to consider while setting up your uh, your uh, your timer. I'm using my webcam, by the way, so picture is not all great, but you know I'm doing the best. So please bear with me. So uh, okay, now let me uh, let me get this to focus. Here we go. Let me get close. All right. So if you look here, uh, there's one flashing. Uh, time there we go you see that delay that's flashing in the top left there is the uh, there's a timer symbol the flashing delay and then there's a, a long and and uh, interval time and then there's your battery indicator right there and then these are a uh, number of pictures that you're gonna use okay so you start with delay the, the delay means when you're gonna take your first exposure you use your set buttons and you use up and down, left, right arrows to change the time. It is set now at two seconds, but I can change that to whatever. So let's let's change the setting to uh, see how it's flashing two seconds. You can either change it to hours, minutes, or seconds. So right now I'm just gonna go to 20 seconds. 20 seconds, okay. 1920 okay if I'm if I'm happy with that I can go to minutes and hours you can go 99 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds okay there's a lot of time uh, to play with so I'm happy with my settings so I hit set and it's good now I can switch to the second one which is I'm just gonna hit my uh, the left arrow is gonna go to long you see the long which is uh, the length, how long the shutter is going to be open, okay? The shutter is set to be open for one second. You can change that to whatever, again, 99 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. Right now, we're going to set this to two seconds. And if I scroll back, you see how it changed, it's showing two seconds? Uh, if you don't make any selection, the screen will time out. See, if I don't do anything now, see, I switch back. Uh, I think it times out in 10 seconds, so you got to make quick selection. All right, the last one, which is the interval, which is the time between each exposure. I have it set here. It's in three seconds. If I want to change the time, I want to go to, let's say, every 10 seconds, it will take an exposure. Hit Enter, and it is set. Two seconds. The interval time is 10 seconds. And now you want to go to the number of exposures. You can go 998 exposures. Or if you hit set here, you can change your number of exposures. 
So let's go to uh, 9. You can go 900, 98, or you can get dashes, which is infinite. 3, 5, 4, 7, 8, 9. Or you, once you get, you see these dashes here, that means you're going to take all the exposures that your memory uh, card can handle. Or you can go back and, and, and you change it to um, whatever, 1 or 10 or something like that. Okay, so we have it set to 8. Okay, and that's it. My timer is set, ready to go. Let me get this thing to focus again. Okay, and that's it. That is my timer. So if I hit play, it will going to come down. And after 20 seconds, it's going to take the first exposure. And then it's going to count 10 seconds, and then it's going to take the second exposure, and the third, until you hit your maximum allowance, and then it'll stop. Okay? Uh, the camera, the, the receiver is not connected to the camera, but I just want to show you how this thing is going to work. If I hit play right now, it's counting down. And then once it hit, uh, it reached the, uh, the time, it will send a signal to the receiver. And it will take the exposure and uh, you'll see that in three two one here we go and then technically if this is connected to the camera it will take the first exposure and as you can see here it's counting back down from 10 and down and then it's gonna take the second one and watch the number of exposures jump from 8 to 6 so everything is good if you want to stop it you can't stop it however you can pause it okay and that's it uh, one more thing I wanted to mention about the uh, the length which is uh, sh it's showing here long let me get this thing to focus one more time you see that long this guy over here that is only when you're using see how I have it set to uh, to two seconds but it's gonna ignore the camera is gonna ignore that setting because it is set to to custom mode you have to set your camera to bulb mode which is uh, let me get this thing to focus one more time all right all right so you gotta turn your camera setting to B mode B mode meaning you are in bulb mode meaning you are in control of the opening of the shutter you can you can open it for a second you can open it for 10 you can open it for a whole minute if you have your camera set to B mode then it will take this settings which is your two seconds long if you have it any anywhere else but the B mode is gonna ignore your two seconds uh, shutter let's say if I have my setting to custom mode and it will take whatever setting I have uh, in this camera for the shutter uh, release. 